a strong advocate for better funding for our schools, and he has brought many of the fall care educators and community members with him here today. Let's do that again. Falk here, let's make some noise. So let's give him a very loud wait for Ed as he comes to the podium. Wait for Ed! 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 Wow. In the immortal words of Jerry Garcia, even a blind man knows when the sun is shining, and the sun is shining in Virginia, folks. Look at what you've done. Look around. There's a mile of people going that direction. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are amazing. And a special shout out to the beautiful people in Fauquier County. But I want to make sure I recognize everyone, so on the count of three, as loud as you can, tell me where you're from. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, I only heard Bunker County, but that was good. That was great. I'm with you 100%. Thank you for being here. You're amazing. I got one important thing to say to you today, and here it is. I've seen the signs, and I've heard Governor, Governor Northern uh, mention it a few times. That Virginia teachers are $9,400. Let that sink in for a minute. $9,400 below the national teacher's average salary. $9,400. Shame, 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 shame. But here's the thing that we keep forgetting as part of the conversation. Getting to average? Yeah, good idea. But you know what? You're not average. We are better than average. And it's not, just, it's not just me talking. Let me give you a couple statistics. The Cato Institute ranks Virginia number one. These are all 2018 statistics. The National Center for Ed Statistics ranks Virginia number three in educational efficiency. Forbes, ranks us, Forbes Magazine ranks us number six in the overall education we provide to our kids. You all have a 91% graduation rate. 91%. That's unheard of, unheard of. And yet, 34th, 34th in average teacher pay. We still have over a thousand teacher vacancies in the state of Virginia, and it's almost February. A thousand. That's criminal. Show the money. That's criminal. So, you're not average. So, I, I get it. I understand that the 5%, I've heard that. That's wonderful. Thank you for that. But we're a long way away from average, and you're outstanding. So, what is it going to take for us to get to outstanding pay for teachers in Virginia? That's what we need to be talking about. That's what the conversation needs to be about. Fund our future! 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 Last but not least, last but not least, right now in Virginia, we are still, in terms of state funding for schools, below 2009, that's 2009, funding levels. Since 2009, basic aid, the basic aid budget in Virginia has grown by 53% for all areas. Do you know how much has grown for public education? It's gone down 3% and they're doing the same time. We need help. We need help. We can't keep relying on the localities to fix this problem. The localities have done what they can to fix this problem. It's now Virginia's responsibility to fix this problem. The, the discrepancy in pay, and I'll finish with this, the discrepancy in pay with, for the school division that pays the highest salaries versus the, the school division that pays the lowest salaries, the difference in salary, $33,000. 
33 land. That's ridiculous. That's a, that's a Richmond problem, that it's not a localities problem. We have compression because the state needs to do a better job of funding K-12. Thanks for being here. You're all awesome. I love all of you.